welcome, welcome, welcome to Rise of the Tomb Raider and episode 17 of my playthrough of Lara Croft's epic journey in the footsteps of her father. And now in the last episode, ran across a couple of locals that needed help and found an injured local hiding in a locker who has now sent me on this pathway where actually we're going to be able to solve... I hope they can solve one of the optional tombs in the area as we search for her compadre. Let's go. What more can you tell me about the wicked veil, Nadia? My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the veil. But they angered Baba Yaga, and she drove them all mad. Grandpa told me all about her. She lives in a magic house that can walk with the legs of a bird. Do you believe all that? The house with the bird legs? I trust Grandpa. He was in the Gulag when the Soviets took my grandmother into the Vale to help them study the ruins. The witch killed her, and he's never forgotten that. But a witch straight out of a Russian folktale? It sounds unlikely. Just be careful. Something is in the Vale. Nothing good happens in that place. And of course, that's exactly where we're heading. Okay, 10 to 1, this is going to collapse. I say that every time, and it doesn't actually happen. Shit. This time, it might. Steady. And here's the optional tomb, I think. Laura, hang on. I'm picking up a transmission. You need to hear this. Sounds a bit Blair Witchy to Did me. You hear that? That was the witch. Something's definitely happening out there. Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it. Okay, this looks like it might be the tomb. I mean, there's another way up here. Where is it asking me to go? Hmm, there. Is there any more sign from Grandpa? Are you still on the path to the Vale? No, but I'll head back and look soon. Just take the wooden path along the cliff. It'll lead you right there. Well, we can always double back. Oops, got the wrong one out. No, 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 that's not correct. Uh, okay, that's to get back. Oh. oh! I missed it, I missed it, I should have jumped. So, uh, what I want to do is I want to do the tomb first, if I can, which I think this is it. And then go back. So we know now, I knew that some of these would collapse. I'm kind of thinking this may be the tomb. It's giving us a lot of trouble to get there. Just hanging around. We need to go inside the old temple. Head down to the wooden walkway along the cliff. There should be a rope leading to it. That path will take you straight to the veil. Yep, but I'm going into the temple because I want to solve the puzzle. <laughs> oh, it's a wind puzzle. 
No currency. Fantastic. Okay. Hmm. Lots of this goodies. Some sort of a shrine. Pilgr Without this place, this divine sculpture of wind and rock, we would have been lost. The story of the scout who found this place is well known to us all. But most of you do not know how close we came to dying. We were lost in the mountains. No food, no hope. We had begun to doubt the prophet himself. But the scout heard the sound and took it to be a sign. He alone ascended these cliffs, drawn by the music. And from there, he saw our... Came here to show their respect. Okay, so we know we have one here. Let's see what happens if I use this. Ah, uh, so I have to close this door first, I should imagine. Yeah. At least this counterweight still works. And then we have a climbing area. They say you never forget the first time you hear the sound. My parents. Okay, so that's a shrine thing. No, you got the wrong weapon equipped. That right? Uh. First of all, I don't know if there's a way... Oh, wait. I see something flashing over there anyway. Let's take that. Oh, is that? Hold on. What can I do here? Was I actually supposed to do that? Ah. Right, okay, so that is the correct thing to do then. Okay, so that's in the right place, apparently. Yeah. Maybe I could swing it somehow. Oh, yes, you can, because. Because if I go climb back up there. I'm not very clear at the moment of what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just trying different things. I have no clear plan. That doesn't swing. Um, yes, it doesn't like... I'd have to be on the opposite side, wouldn't I, to swing that? Maybe, maybe I don't need to do this. Hold on. 
See, I can swing that. I'm oh, sorry. No, I think that's kind of obvious. And then we need wind. That's what we need. Then we need the wind. Okay, okay, I think I'm getting this now. I'm being a bit slow. I think what we do now is we open the door. Because we don't need to climb. Yes. That looks better. Because we've opened this now. Okay, apparently this is the right level. So we, perhaps we don't even need to attach this now. There. So it's slamming, and we want we don't want it to slam there though. Ah. So we might have to time it. Um, no, come on. I think I get it. Got to time that a bit better. Yep. Oh, mon dieu. So we need to free the counter to get free them. I can't believe how tricky this is. <laughs> Right, got that. Right, now, not this one, but the next one. Dittish. Yes, there we go. And it. of meditations on willpower. Wow, how impressive is that? And that was definitely worth the detour. Right, onwards now. Oh, the wooden walkway. I see. She 
Jeez, everything seems to collapse. Oh, it was a bad attempt at that. That's annoying, that jump. Hold on. Nadia, I think I found your wicked veil. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. This is her land. Nadia, my granddaughter. By now you already know. I am going into the veil to kill the witch, Baba Yaga. I have gone to seek revenge for your grandmother. There are newcomers in our valley. Armed men arriving in helicopters. I do not know what they want, but I know if I am to go, this is my last chance. You deserve to know the truth, to know why. Your grandpa is not a wise man. I have become, with hard work, a good man for your grandmother's sake. But it was not always so. I came from the West, where even a small village has thousands of inhabitants. I was a lazy young man, and I dreamed of an easy life when I joined the party. A comfortable desk in a big city. But they sent me here, to the ends of the earth, to watch men and women work and starve and die, to participate in their punishment. I knew it was evil, but I did not know how to fight until I met her. Wow. Some of the very close to the reality of Siberia, I should imagine, and what people suffered there. Well, at that point, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Catch you later.